The reason why vector databases don't go away is that if you're building agents, you need knowledge. And you want to be able to externalize this knowledge. You want to be able to audit it. You want to be able to redact it. You want to make sure it's secure. And the moment you start thinking about that, you need vector databases, and it becomes a foundational component. Now it becomes the question of how do you take this foundational vector database, foundational language models, and put them together to build a stack for your agent. What I see uh, people often do is they start simple. Pinecone ourselves, we have lots of blogs. We have lots of templates of how to build RAC systems. We even have what we call an assistant, which allows you to just drop unstructured data and ask questions. So we tend to try to lower the barrier to entry to this kind of building agents as much as possible. So that's where I would start. If I'm uh, an engineering leader who's trying to empower a team to build agentic workflows, I would start with something like an assistant, start consuming it, start building uh, knowledgeable agents. And then slowly go deeper into the stack as you be, kind of gain more expertise and also start putting more guardrails.